Late Show man. Our friends, beautiful young friends over there. Uh, Lewis, tonight, Lewis, tonight, we got uh, two fantastic performers. Elizabeth Olsen will be out Elizabeth here in just Olsen. a little while. Yeah. You might know her from, you know, might know her from the stuff she does. Also, comedian Jenna Friedman is going to be out That's here right. just a little while later. Woo! Big fan. Big fan. Also, just want to remind everybody out there watching there, if you enjoy The Late Show and you want to see more of The Late Show, you should check out The Late Show Pod Show because we have a podcast right there. You can go there with a little thingy-majig right there, whatever that does. And uh, you can see extended interviews on the show, jokes that we cut from the show end up on, on the podcast. We cut them for time, not because they aren't quality. All the jokes are quality. <laughs> uh, but, uh, for instance, right now, we got extended interviews with Nicolas Cage, Succession's Brian Cox, Lin-Manuel Miranda and John Kander, and the NASA Artemis II astronauts. And, uh, and many more. Who knows? Maybe, the, the, maybe there'll be extended interviews with Elizabeth Olsen and Jenna Friedman. I'm, hey, I'm up for it. You know? Now, folks, if you know me, you know I love keeping up on the latest tech trends, unless that involves updating my software, in which case, I will be clicking Remind Me Later until the sun engulfs the earth. <laughs> but it turns out today's hottest technology is actually from the past because, according to multiple reports, Gen Z is loving vintage technology and their latest vintage obsession is the flip phone. That's right, the flip phone. The number one way for kids to learn that snakes die by bumping into themselves. <laughs> now, flip phones don't have a camera, so how do these retro-obsessed young people take pictures? Well, don't you worry, because the other hottest Gen Z gadget is a 20-year-old digital camera. Kids, we stopped using these because they sucked. <laughs> That's like saying, sure, there's anesthesia, but have you ever tried biting on a stick? <laughs> but apparently the flaws are part of the draw, because while the image quality is poorer, Gen Zers find the vintage look more meaningful and more challenging. Yes, from experience, I can say that looking at old photos is definitely challenging. <laughs> it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Doesn't end there. Over the last couple of years, Gen Zers have been ditching e-books for real books and ditching AirPods in favor of wired headphones. Perfect for anyone who loves listening to music but wishes they could get caught on every item in a two-foot radius. <laughs> There's even been increased interest in extremely old methods of communication like ham radio and Morse code. But all this vintage technology is still technology. So what if you're well, for your young person out there who wants to fully unplug but still needs to communicate, don't you worry. The Late Show has just the product for you. Jim? Sick of social media? Mad at modern technology? Then it's time to go truly retro with 18th century flag-based communication. Introducing Nokia Semaphore, the only system designed to cut out the noise and let you talk with your hands like an old-timey sailor. Dope. Just learn the simple code. And you'll be chatting in no time. See, that only took 10 minutes. Nokia Semaphore is perfect for group chats. And now you can sext like never before. social media, you can still yell hot takes at strangers. Unlike your phone, feel free to use it at the theater. And best of all, say goodbye to drunkenly contacting your ex. I'm just gonna flag Brian. Oh no, honey. He's back with you. Give me my freaking flag! <laughs> Call 911! Nokia Semaphore. Everything old is cool again. 
We'll be right back with Elizabeth Olsen.